Hello everyone, welcome to Rare Zombies on Violence. I'll be your guide. We're going to cover a lot of different custom zombies, a variety of news and topics on my channel, so be sure to subscribe if you like that kind of stuff. But we're also going to be playing the maps. We'll be live streaming the maps once these are become readily available. We're going to be covering a few different people here. Nate Smith Zombies is the guy you're watching now. He created the Kino Teleporter on the base form map. He's the last time we saw this guy, it was a banana colada. He had an import for that. I showed you guys that on my channel. You can see it there next to the perk machines on the way left. But he recently is working with this teleporter, this Kino like teleporter. Sir Jamie is another guy I've been following. His map is called Old London. He's had quite a bit of advancement on it, as you can see. He has some really good lighting schemes coming through his dock and from under the wood that I like to pay att close attention to because the lighting is really good on this map. It's one that I'm very impressed with. This one's called Old London. We're eventually going to be getting to a guy named Jay Bird who brought in the Thunder Gun. He's also created modes, Chaos Modes, which is a new Zombies mode that he'll be talking about in a little bit. Roll on Math 42 created the model 1887s. This is a great weapon back in the day, and he brought it into Zombies. You know, the range on this sucker is crazy good, so it has very good hit detection. Don't have too much gameplay here because he did hit that nuke. It kind of slowed down the round and what he recorded. So we're going to move on to the 44 Magnum, and this was done by Zeroy. He had imported this. The last time we saw Zeroy, he had imported Ammomatic, which is a perk machine that you can buy for $750 and it's max ammos. So he's been playing around with that on a different map that he's been advancing in, but he just brought this in. This is the base form map, so a lot of people bring different weapons that they're testing and stuff into this map. So the gameplay you're seeing now is on the base form map. Hey guys, this is Jaybird from UGX Mods, and I'm gonna be showcasing a new weapon. And as you can see, I currently have the Thunder Gun. So this isn't the actual Thunder Gun from Black Ops 1. This is one that I custom modeled a while ago. It's been modeled by hand, retext. It's a completely new texture, 2K texture. Everything's done by hand. The only thing that's been ported over is the actual uh, weapon sounds and the uh, the animations. But uh, I also ported the script as well, although it's heavily modified because Black Ops 3 scripting is a lot different, or at least relatively different. Uh, there was a few things I had to change up, like some the way the functions were called, some of the functions that they had, and some of the functions that they were calling from specific scripts that we don't have anymore. So a lot of that had to get switched around, but I do have it working. Uh, as for the on the side of effects, I got the view model uh, muzzle flash effect. So if, when I fire here, you can see I got the little smoke shooting out of the barrel. Uh, and then I also got uh, the the reload uh, sounds, the fire sounds, as you can hear, uh, the script does work pretty well. Uh, there's not really much left with the script other than trying to get the the client side stuff. Look at that, boom, ragdoll effects. Uh, so yeah, I do have to get the the ammo uh, to show up on the magazine there. Uh, that's going to be client side scripting. Haven't done any of that yet, so that'll be. Hopefully, it's the same. I hope so. Uh, if, if that's the case, I can probably just uh, reuse the script that I used in World of War back on lockdown. Uh, I do have to make the view model effects, which is why like, I'm flying. Uh, the view model effects are going to be a lot different than just the muzzle flash, because I don't need to line up any anything with a muzzle flash. I just kind of make the muzzle flash and it works. Whereas something like the uh, the ammo counter, that's going to be a pain in the ass to do because I actually have to go and I have to line it up with the magazine properly. Like I do have tags that I can play it off of, but there's still going to be some fine adjustments and whatnot, which will be a pain to do. Uh, as for the animation side of things, it's using Black Ops 1 atoms, so there's no sliding, there's no crawling. Uh, so I'm going to have to look into maybe making custom animations on how to and getting that to work as of right now like it's got you can see it's got the weapon bob but that's because it's using an additive animation which is from the CUDA so it's using the CUDA's walk animation uh, which is only moving tag torso which allows it to kind of bob and sway which is quite nice it's got the backwards animation sideways animations and whatnot uh, 
even jump land and whatnot, so that's really cool. Uh, one thing I do need to look into is why uh, the the empty atoms, like if I if I pull out here, pull out the weapon, you can see the idle empty works, but for some reason the pull out put away atoms for that don't. And on top of that, if I sprint, oh wait, no, the sprinting atoms do work. Okay, so it's the it's just the pull out and the put away atoms that don't work. Okay, so I'll have to look into why that's not working. Um, I thought the sprinting wasn't working. That's odd. Um, and then the other thing uh, is just trying to get the sliding atoms. So like the CUDA sliding right now looks terrible on this. Like at least I can use the walking atoms, but the sliding, that's something I'm definitely going to have to recreate or else like you wouldn't be able to slide with this. That's, that's not acceptable. It's a released atom. Uh, so. so that's the latest progress for all the guys that I follow. Links to all their channels are in the description box below, and I keep adding to it. Each and every week I keep finding new guys that are invited into the alpha. We'll be moving into the beta, and then everybody will get a play, and I'll show you guys all the guys that make the maps the whole time through, so be sure to subscribe. Violent out.